and they crack into the hardest. Will be used to make RSO. I'm going to teach you how to make a one-to-one -one balanced RSO formula for healing. Our first strain that we use is Frank's Gift, which I brew myself. You are going to be using 225 grams. The second strain is Monkey Balls for a total of 129 grams. Third strain is Early Bird. And I don't have too much left right now, but I'm gonna be using 9.3 grams of that. White Widow. We're going to be doing 9.3 grams as well. Harley Sue, we're going to be doing 32 grams of Harley Sue. And the next one is Vanilla Ice. We're going to be doing 22.70 grams. And the last strain we're using is Strawberry Ice, and we're going to be using 22.50 grams. When you add all these up, it is a total of 450 grams, which is what we will be using to make the RSO. And this formula is for making a one-to-one -one balanced. I have one pound of pure flour here, mostly indicas seven different strains to make this RSO. Now I will be putting in one gallon of food grade alcohol. After a gallon of clear spring, we are going to mix the alcohol very well and mash it with the cannabis buds. Now we are mashing this. Until it blends in with the alcohol. all of the medicine is extracted from the flour and will be mixed into the alcohol. I'm still mashing it up really well, waiting for the alcohol to absorb the medicine. Now we are going to stir vigorously for three minutes. And after three minutes of stirring vigorously, 80% of the medicine will be now dissolved into the alcohol. Once you see the alcohol and most of the flour is submerged in the alcohol, you are done for now, and you can go to the next step, which is straining the plant. Now we are going to take the one pound of flour and one gallon of mashed up flour and put it through the strainer. to use two containers because my strainers were not big enough to hold all of the plant material. So here you see 
is our medicine down here. Now you will pour all of the plant material back into the original container. I'm going to grab the second one and put that in as well. In the meantime, I'm going to condense all of the medicine and solvent. Now we are pouring in another gallon of the food grade alcohol. I use clear spring. It's worked really well for me. And I think it's important with this medicine to use solvents that are healthy for the body. So here you have another gallon of Everclear solvent. And I'm going to mash it again for another three minutes to extract all of the medicine that is remaining in the plant material. Now I'm going to take the one gallon of solvent with the remaining plant material and put it in the strainer. And I have a lot of plant material, so I'm going to use two strainers. And we're hoping to extract the final little bit of medicine that we have left. So now I'm draining the remaining part of the medicine out of the flower bits with both my strainers. And in a few minutes, we'll be ready to start making the RSO in the rice cooker. At this point, the medicine is mostly all drained out. I'm squeezing it just a little bit to get the remaining fragments out. And we're going to get ready to go make our RSO after disposing of these flower bits. So I have taken two quarts of the condensed medicine in the solvent and put it into the small rice cooker that I have and put it on cook. I'm going to have to make this in two batches because my rice cooker only takes two quarts. solvent is boiling down. We're almost down to the bottom. Cooking the rest of it. Had to move it outside because we had all the windows closed because of the poor air quality from the fire and it was smelling too much. Getting close. product. Final product. 